SpaceX has taken a big step forward to show the world that it is fully prepared to launch Starship, but there is still one major obstacle, the FAA. Its regulations continue to delay the launch of the giant weapon, much to the chagrin of many. Recently, other members of Congress criticized the FAA's restrictions and expressed strong support for SpaceX. Even former President Donald Trump, now a presidential candidate, spoke out on the issue. Could this mark the beginning of the end of FAA oversight? Over the years, the Rocket Lab and Intuitive Machine have made significant strides in the space industry. There's a lot of exciting news to discuss today, so let's dive into today's episode of NR Studio. You probably remember the glorious moment when Super Heavy Booster 12 rose to an unprecedented height off the stick. It was a crucial test that underscored SpaceX's determination to pursue the booster in the next volume. After this step, Starship 30 arrived at the launch pad. After more than three months of anticipation, the long-awaited moment has finally arrived. The S-30 was lifted and fully assembled on B-12, marking the first hardware combination for Flight 5. B-12 had previously been installed with the hot stage ring after being placed on the orbital launch rack. SpaceX has reiterated its readiness by saying that Starship is assembled for Flight 5 and ready to launch. In fact, they initially announced its readiness in August after each phase successfully completed testing and other essential preparations. The first complete assembly test was conducted on August 23rd, where SpaceX conducted a fuel loading test followed by an unloading test to assess the effectiveness of the fueling process. SpaceX said the fuel load test and pre-flight checks were completed ahead of Flight 5. Elon Musk echoed the sentiment by retweeting the following message. Starship is ready to fly, but SpaceX stressed that the launch is still awaiting regulatory approval from the FAA. The update once again highlights the frustration with FAA delays, which have hampered not only SpaceX's progress, but also U.S. aerospace progress in general, leaving the door open for other countries to fill the gap. In the current climate, it seems unlikely that the FAA will speed up its decision. The growing criticism of the FAA is stronger than ever, even more so than in previous delays. In this context, former president and 2024 presidential candidate Donald Trump made a strong statement not about this. The tweet once again emphasized SpaceX's important role in space exploration, specifically colonizing Mars and improving space safety. While it is uncertain whether Trump will win the election, he has said that the goal of colonizing Mars is achievable during his term until 2028. This is in line with Elon Musk's recent predictions regarding colonizing Mars. In response to Trump's remarks, Elon Musk simply retweeted, good. A few days later, in the House of Representatives, California Congressman Kevin Kiley shared his thoughts, first congratulating SpaceX and Elon Musk on the success of the Dawn of Space Explorer mission. He noted that this revolutionary mission on an unprecedented scale opens up new opportunities for the aerospace industry strengthening the position of SpaceX in the United States. Kylie then criticized the FAA's delays with Starship and the recent fines imposed on SpaceX for Falcon 9 operations. He said, There should be no delays related to paperwork or bureaucracy. This company is also critical to America's global leadership in space and critical to our national security. It's inexplicable that the FAA would try to halt his progress with meaningless fines and delays. Musk quickly responded with a simple thank you. Polaris Dawn mission leader Jared Isaacman also weighed in, retweeting Kylie's comments with his own reaction. It's great to see recognition from political leaders. Regardless of your personal or political views, Elon Musk has founded a company to solve humanity's greatest challenges. Spaceships aren't destined for a gold rush or a doomed fate on Mars. They're opening up the final frontier for all of humanity. If you dream of a brighter future, support SpaceX and all visionary initiatives like this. Given Isaac Mann's close ties to SpaceX, his support is understandable. He has long advocated for an accelerated launch of Starship and has always supported SpaceX's goals. Now more than ever, resistance to the FAA's position on SPACEX is growing. There is a growing sense of unity around the shared goal of maintaining U.S. leadership in aerospace while outperforming competitors like China. 
Any organization that stands in the way of this progress will face two choices, reform or risk being left behind. Which way will the FAA go? Will it decide its fate or will someone else decide its fate? For now, SpaceX has time to appeal the FAA's fine for Falcon 9. And for Starship, its next flight, Flight 5, is scheduled for November. Despite the challenges, support and preparation for SpaceX remain strong. Comment. Let SpaceX fly to show your support for SpaceX and Starship. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on SpaceX's incredible journey, especially the ongoing issues between SpaceX and the FAA. Next, we have an update on Rocket Lab's latest electronics mission. On September 20th at 7.01 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, an electronics rocket successfully launched from Rocket Lab's Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand. The mission is dedicated to the second satellite delivery from French startup Kness, which is part of its Internet of Things network. The mission, dubbed Kness, is turning off the T-Star radio, placing the satellite in a sun-synchronous orbit at an altitude of 643 kilometers. This is the second of five launches that Kness has acquired from Rocket Lab in 2021, with the first in June. Three more launches are expected to follow. Kinesi CEO Alexandra Tisserone expressed confidence in the company's progress, saying the full constellation, which is expected to be operational by mid-2025, will allow customers to collect asset tracking and other data with a delay of only 15 to 20 minutes. Saron emphasized that this low latency covers 90 to 95% of use cases, and the company aims to reach profitability within three years. For Rocket Lab, this mission marks its 11th launch in 2023, a new record for the company. Since its first launch in 2017, Rocket Lab has continued to increase its release rate. I beat last year's record of 10 games. In the three months leading up to the end of the year, Rocket Lab has the potential to expand this new phase even further. It's clear that Rocket Lab is following a similar path to SpaceX. SpaceX recently matched last year's record with 91 launches, though the scale of its operations varies. Both companies are the most active in the orbital launch sector. Their continued success puts them well ahead of other giants, such as Blue Origin and United Launch Alliance. We can't wait to see what these companies do next. After the Rocket Lab update, let's move on to the latest news from Intuitive Machines, or our new Big Moon deal. On September 17th, NASA announced that Intuitive Machines has been awarded a $4.8 billion contract to provide communications and navigation services on the moon, supporting the Artemis Lunar Exploration Program. The company will play a critical role in enhancing NASA's near space network, which currently facilitates communications for transmissions on Earth, in orbit, and in cislunar space. The contract, officially titled Subcategory 2.2 GEO for Cislunar Relay Services, represents a major step forward in lunar exploration. The contract is an open-ended, fixed-quantity delivery agreement that begins with a five-year base term on October 1st, with an option for an additional five years. While NASA has not disclosed the initial amount awarded under the contract, the first phase of work focuses on progressively validating lunar capabilities and services. These services will be critical for robotic and low-tech lunar missions including rovers and other spacecraft in the Artemis program. NASA notes that the new capabilities will help relieve pressure on the space network, which has been strained by supporting deep space missions, most recently the Artemis 1 mission in 2022. The lunar services relay provided by Intuitive Machines will help ensure smoother communications for the future mission. Steve Altimus, CEO of Intuitive Machines, commented that this contract marks a significant moment in our leadership in space communications and navigation. We are thrilled to partner with NASA to support the Artemis campaign and efforts to develop a lunar economy. Despite the excitement, NASA and Intuitive Machines have not released specific details on how these services will be implemented, other than the potential use of satellites in lunar orbit. It is not yet clear how many other companies have ended, sorry, the competition for this contract. While expectations are high, there is still uncertainty surrounding NASA's major projects, especially in the preparation and operations phases. However, Intuitive Machines has proven to be a leader in recent lunar efforts. 
We will be watching closely to see how they help return humans to the moon in the years to come. Well, that's it for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next episode.